I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer from Marin County, and I have some important news regarding the new COVID-19 vaccine. Yesterday, the FDA approved a new formulation of the Pfizer and Moderna mRNA vaccines, and we're hearing that they may arrive into Marin before the end of August. That's ahead of schedule, and that's great news. While the summer surge seemed to have plateaued, we're still seeing significant transmission within our community. Here's some information about the updated vaccine, who should get it, and when. This will be the third time the COVID-19 mRNA vaccines have been updated. Remember, as the virus changes, the vaccines need to be reformulated to target the latest variants. Emerging strains are generally more contagious than the prior ones. And if you think about it, that's how they become the dominant strain, by infecting people more easily and moving more quickly than the previous dominant strain. So the best way to stay in front of this to stay protected is to get the newest version. At the same time, new strains are usually relatives or offspring of the older ones. So the immunity we've gained over the years from prior vaccines and infections is at least partly protective against the newer strains. And this is one of the reasons why we see a long-term trend towards less average severity of illness and fewer hospitalizations even as new variants emerge as the pandemic winds down over the years. In this case, the new mRNA vaccine is targeted to the KP.2 strain, which started actively circulating in Marin County this summer. So who should get this new vaccine? First, everyone aged six months or older is eligible for the vaccine. It's safe and effective for children and adults. But it's not equally urgent for everyone to get it right away. There's a subset of folks who should really prioritize getting the vaccine when it becomes available. When you're thinking about if and when to get the vaccine, I recommend you think about two things. Number one is what's my risk of getting seriously ill if I'm infected? And that's familiar territory. Older adults and people with chronic medical conditions are at higher risk. Among the people hospitalized or who have died from COVID in Marin in 2024, over 90% were over age 65. And keep in mind that older adults, even if they're not hospitalized, tend to have more serious illness and have a higher risk for long COVID. The second question is a little more nuanced and helps determine when you should get the shot. Even for people at higher risk, it's not always the right answer to get the new vaccine as soon as it's available. We need to ask ourselves, when was the last, my last COVID shot or last COVID-19 infection? Remember, immunity lasts four to six months at least. That means if you got a summer case of COVID, like so many of us did, it's probably better to wait further into the fall to get that new vaccine. You wanna space out that interval of maximum protection to last you deeper into that annual winter surge we anticipate. On the other hand, our local wastewater levels confirm that there's still a lot of transmission happening now. So if you haven't had a vaccine or infection in over six months, getting the vaccine now or as soon as possible will help protect you in the current surge. And for people in all age groups, it's important to note that there's an increasing body of evidence that vaccines significantly reduce the risk of long COVID in people across the age spectrum so their benefits go beyond preventing acute illness. So in summary, the new mRNA vaccines are gonna arrive soon into pharmacies and healthcare providers across Marin County. It's good timing because we're still in the summer surge and they're a good match for the actively circulating strains. Those of us who are over age 65 and who have had not had a shot or COVID infection this summer should be first in line to get the new shot. Still, Everyone who's eligible should get the vaccine to protect themselves and their loved ones, especially in light of the evidence that vaccines protect against acute illness and against long COVID for people in any age group. Reach out to your healthcare provider who knows your health history and your recent COVID-19 experiences. Marin Public Health will continue to provide updates on vaccine availability and patterns of local spread. Together, we can keep Marin healthy and safe. Thank you for doing your part.